plot something you're a pro at but couldn't make a career in. I got the best case of mom eyes ever, as in, you can't find your wallet, your keys, your pen, your favorite sweater, you've been looking for minutes, hours, but no luck. So you call mom, hey mom, have you seen my... I've looked everywhere. Not 30 seconds after mom started looking, she finds it right away and looks at you like you're the weirdo for having not found it. That's my superpower, but not exactly a marketable skill. Repairing hydraulic cylinders. I'm fantastic at it and can repair any cylinder you'll bring to me. But there's just too many people around my area that do it and have been doing it for longer than me so they have better credibility. Side note, older people don't tend to trust a 27-year-old to fix their shit around here. And that would be 90 of my customer base. Jack of all trades, master of none. I know that's not exactly the answer you're we're looking for, but that's the case with most of us. We are probably quite professional in many fields. I could say I am actually close to a pro in table tennis, but never got to play at a pro level. Neither did I wanted to be honest. I'm a pretty good DJ, and even a few legendary DJs have commented that they've enjoyed my mixes. However, I'm not sure I can make a career out of it at this stage in my life. I'm 50 plus, all that traveling, jet lag, etc. would take its toll on my mental health. I don't function well on little sleep. I'm pretty good in stocking item in game that gone to enormous amount than people can using it in their lifetime in a sane way. If you try to pay for that amount it will cost like few month or year of salary. I can't sail that and not much people like it because I just keep hoarding. Can mad or basic the programming language. Unfortunately it stopped really being used when Microsoft purchased it in 1977. So now I have to use Visual Basic. What makes it worse was I was born in 2002 and taught myself it when using our old Commodore. Parents didn't get much new tech. I've always found recreational drugs fascinating and have spent years reading experience reports online. Even actually especially drugs I would never do myself. I probably know more about recreational drugs in general than a good 99.8 of the population. Dressmaking. I'm 61F and so had to teach myself dressmaking as there were hardly any clothes that would fit. When I was young, I can make almost anything but it takes me ages. It would take me a week to do what a real professional could do in hours. Music. I can write and play several instruments, and I do it as a side hustle. But there's no way to make a career out of it in the US without a huge amount of luck. If I lived anywhere else in the world, sure. But gigs don't pay health insurance. Playing guitar. I can pretty much play anything I want to besides the ungodly hard stuff but for the life of me I can't write stuff. I'm not creative enough for it. Also I don't see myself performing well in front of PPL. Napping. Untying tight knots or unraveling knotted things like yarn or necklaces. Sorting things into size, color and or shape. Cutting bits of paper or card on the guillotine at work. I find that very therapeutic. I can tell you from which movie or TV show you know the extra from. It's a party trick at this point. Because of my TV show and IMDB obsession and my friends use me as human IMDB. Doubt anyone would pay me for this. Scheduling. You could give me the most batchet set of calendars and I would find a time slot for a one three hour meeting at a reasonable time of day. Will anyone hire for such a niche superpower? Not that I've seen. Training people. I was a personal trainer for a while and could easily help people lose 30 to 50 pounds in three months. With consistency, it's just very saturated field and hard to break through in a career sense. Computers. I just can't handle the pressure in a professional setting. On my own I can just play around and figure things out at my own pace. In a career field I would just hold everyone back sadly. Super Smash Brothers. I've won local championships, but never something big. I'm too good to play against friends and casual players, and too shitty to make a living out of it. It's a curse, really. Martial arts. I used to compete, teach, and have been practicing since I was a child. But the talent pool is so monstrously huge that it's super hard to actually have a successful career fighting. Photography. I'm not the best ever but I can make pro-quality photos. But the business at end of it, having to shoot things I don't like or care about, satisfying customers. I couldn't do it. Music. 
multiple degrees, play as much as I can. Used to tour as a sideman session player. Now, I work a desk job, pay my mortgage, and still wish I could have made it somehow. I typically pick up hobbies until I'm pretty damn good, get bored and move on. The cycle seems that if I'm passionate about doing something I'll eventually grow to hate doing it. I know all the countries of the world, their capitals, flags and place on the map. Geographer is a career, but the specific stuff I know wouldn't really be helpful. Cross stitch. I make some amazing completely kick a dollar dollar tapestries. They take years to make and no one would pay me hundreds of thousands of dollars for them. Beer making. I can have up to 100 gal of homemade beer at my house with zero regulation and party it up with my friends family. Why would I ruin that? Video games. Was top 500 in Overwatch but I didn't know how to attract the attention of orgs or pro players and felt it was too much of a moonshot. I love cooking for myself but I hate cooking for other people. In fact, that explains all of my hobbies, cooking, writing, drawing, among others. Cooking, that after working eight years on the front of house side of restaurant, I would never pursue a career. In it, my family appreciates it though. Pro is short for professional, meaning something you get paid to do dot dot. I'm really good at being pedantic, but I couldn't be a career pedant. Laying carpet tiles. I did a great job of it. Very accurate but a career, no. Same with painting walls. Always super great lines, clean. Playing the violin. I'm a pro in that people will pay me money to play the violin, but not enough that I could pay my bills with it. 3-5-M being an introvert sigma. I'm good at that, but it often seems to upset a lot of people. So no great height career-wise. Volunteering. But seriously, if I could volunteer full-time and make as much as I make now, I would quit my job tomorrow. Crochet, definitely at the top of my craft and create artwork style pieces. Selling my work to survive would be a struggle. Working with customers. But when I get that one age, I become a Jekyll and Hyde. I tend to bounce from job to job. Songwriter and performer. I am technically a professional as I get paid to do it. But I still have to have a normal job. I'm a pretty good screenwriter, but there's no way I could make a living at it. I don't have the necessary social tools. Technically, I'm a professional scam baiter. I make like $500 most scamming scammers. Not quite enough to live on though. Currently learning professional acting and musical theater. Could never manage to make a paying profession out of it. If really quick art skills, Maybe if I applied myself I could do storyboard editing, but the odds are against me. Empathy, it is very easy for me to understand the person next to me. But alas, that has its own currency. Chemistry, pharmacy. Got some self-teaching in comp sci and agricultural sciences. God, what a list. I have an English writing degree and there is no chance I could make a career writing anything. Morse code. I literally was a professional at it. Many years ago. Now it's just a hobby. Curating music. I had some semi-popular blogs. But they never came close to paying by bills. Drawing painting portraits. I'm good at it, but I also really hate doing commissions. Being deaf with working ears. My brain legit delays like a broken tablet from 2014. Art and writing. I can make money at it but not enough to be a comfortable career. Working with animals, lots of poop, and it is heartbreaking when they die. Listening to music, evaluating women's feet, remembering dates, DJs. Yes, the most obvious one. Let the acronym game begin though. Making up themed fantasy football leagues being a commissioner. You can basically make a career out of anything if you're a pro. Overthinking if I could bottle and sell it, I'd be rich. I'm a professional video game I've been doing since I was six. Parallel parking. If there's room, I can make it fit. Low jobs. I don't want to make a career out of it all. Fixing random stuff. It's a knack I have always had. 